Did you know that Area 51, the most secretive place on Earth, didn't officially exist until 2013? Nestled within the arid, unforgiving landscapes of Nevada, USA, lies a patch of land shrouded in mystery and speculation. A place whose very existence has been the subject of countless debates and conspiracy theories. Yes, we're talking about Area 51. Area 51 is not just another military base, it is a location that has been intricately tied to the US government, the Central Intelligence Agency, and the military. Its clandestine nature has fueled the imagination of millions, spawning stories of extraterrestrial encounters and top-secret military experiments. What is it about this place that has the world's conspiracy theorists buzzing? Well, for starters, the United States government didn't acknowledge its existence until 2013. That's right. For decades, this highly fortified 600-square-mile stretch of land was absent from any official records. It was a place that didn't exist, at least not officially. Area 51's existence was finally acknowledged when the CIA released declassified documents in response to a public records request. The documents revealed the base's history as a testing site for the U-2 and Oxcart aerial surveillance programs. But even then, the government was tight-lipped about the specifics, sparking more questions than answers. The base is tucked away from prying eyes, deep within the Nevada test and training range. Its remote location, coupled with strict no-fly zones and heavily guarded perimeters, make it virtually impossible for curious onlookers to catch a glimpse of what's happening inside. But the veil of secrecy that surrounds Area 51 has only served to fuel the fires of speculation. Tales of alien autopsies, reverse-engineered UFO technology, and even time travel experiments have become part of Area 51's lore. So, here we stand, at the edge of the rabbit hole, peering into the enigma that is Area 51. Its secrets, real or imagined, continue to captivate us. After all, the allure of the unknown is irresistible. So, if it didn't officially exist until 2013, what do we really know about Area 51? The journey into the heart of this mystery has only just begun. Buckle up folks, it's going to be a fascinating ride. UFO sightings and Area 51 seem to go hand in hand. But why? Our journey takes us back to the mid-20th century, a time when sightings of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, were beginning to make headlines. The connection between these strange occurrences and Area 51, a highly classified remote detachment of Edwards Air Force Base, within the Nevada Test and Training Range, has since become a fixture in popular culture. One of the most famous incidents occurred in 1947, near Roswell, New Mexico. A local rancher discovered unidentifiable debris in his fields, sparking widespread speculation about extraterrestrial life. The military claimed it was a crashed weather balloon, but doubts persisted. This event, known as the Roswell Incident, fueled the belief that the government was hiding knowledge of UFOs. Close to the timeline of the Roswell Incident, Area 51 was coming into operation, intensifying the connection between UFO sightings and the mysterious base. The secrecy surrounding Area 51, coupled with reports of unusual phenomena, gave rise to theories about the testing of alien technology within its confines. Over the years, numerous other incidents have added fuel to this enigmatic fire, from the testimonies of ex-employees claiming to have worked on alien technology, to countless UFO sightings reported in the vicinity, the aura of mystery continues to thicken. It's interesting to note that the US government didn't acknowledge the existence of Area 51 until 2013, adding a layer of intrigue to an already curious narrative. Now, it's important to remember that correlation doesn't always imply causation. While it's tempting to connect the dots between UFO sightings and Area 51, it's also crucial to approach these topics with a healthy dose of skepticism. After all, Area 51 is a testing site for experimental aircraft and weapon systems, which could account for some of the UFO sightings. But let's face it, the allure of the unknown is irresistible. With all these UFO sightings, one can't help but wonder, what's really going on at Area 51? From alien autopsies to time travel experiments, the theories about Area 51 are endless. Let's dive into the labyrinth of conjectures and hypotheses surrounding this enigmatic location. 
The theories are as wild as they are varied. One of the most persistent ideas is that Area 51 is a hub for extraterrestrial activity. Many believe that the government is concealing evidence of alien life forms, including the wreckage of a crashed UFO and even the remains of its otherworldly pilot. Then there's the theory of reverse engineering alien technology. It suggests that the advanced aircraft and weapons developed in the United States owe their existence to the study of alien technologies recovered from various UFO crash sites. Stealth bombers, lasers, and even fiber optics are thought to be the fruits of this clandestine operation. Another school of thought speculates that Area 51 is the testing ground for time travel and teleportation experiments inspired by the controversial Philadelphia experiment. This theory suggests that the government is conducting high-risk, high-reward scientific experiments far away from prying eyes. These theories aren't just the product of overactive imaginations, they've been perpetuated by eyewitness accounts, leaked documents and even former employees of Area 51, adding fuel to the fire of speculation. These tales of high secrecy and strange happenings have seeped into the veins of popular culture, inspiring movies, TV shows and books. The impact of these theories extends beyond entertainment. They've sparked debates about government transparency, fueled distrust in official narratives, and even influenced political discourse. They serve as a potent reminder of the power of mystery and the human imagination's ability to fill the void left by unanswered questions. The theories about Area 51 are a testament to our fascination with the unknown and the lengths we're willing to go in our quest for truth. They've shaped our perception of Area 51, transforming it from a remote desert facility into a symbol of mystery and intrigue. The truth might be out there, but it seems that the secrets of Area 51 remain just that, secrets. In 2019, millions of people RSVP'd to storm Area 51. But what really happened? Ah, the year 2019, a simpler time when people were less concerned about pandemics and more about uncovering the mysteries of the universe. This was when a Facebook event humorously titled Storm Area 51 They Can't Stop All of Us went viral. The event, scheduled for September 20, 2019, was created as a tongue-in-cheek attempt to solve the enigma that is Area 51. The invitation was simple. We will all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. The Naruto run, by the way, references an anime character known for running with his arms stretched behind him, a detail that added a layer of humor to the otherwise audacious plan. With over 2 million people clicking going and another 1.5 million expressing interest, the event caught the attention of not just the public, but also the US military. Concerned about the potential security risks, the Air Force issued stern warnings against anyone trying to infiltrate the base. However, when the Day of Reckoning came, only about 150 enthusiasts made their way to the outskirts of Area 51. There was no storming, no Naruto running, and certainly no alien sightings. Instead, it turned into a peaceful gathering, a festival of sorts, where people dressed in alien costumes, held signs demanding the release of extraterrestrial secrets, and generally had a good time. Despite the anticlimactic turnout, the event did succeed in one aspect. It reignited public interest in Area 51 and the secrets it may hold. It proved that the fascination with the unknown, the allure of the extraterrestrial, is still very much alive in the collective consciousness. As it turns out, the storm was more of a light drizzle, but it certainly put Area 51 back in the spotlight. So, after all the theories and speculations, what do we really know about Area 51? Well, let's break it down. Area 51, also known as Groom Lake or Homey Airport, is a highly classified and remote detachment of Edwards Air Force Base within the Nevada Test and Training Range in the United States. Officially, it's used by the United States Air Force for the development and testing of experimental aircraft and weapon systems. The U-2 spy plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, and the F-117 Nighthawk are just a few examples of the advanced technology that has been developed and tested at Area 51. This kind of cutting-edge research and development necessitates a high level of secrecy to protect national security interests, which is likely why the base is so heavily guarded and why access is so restricted. 
Area 51 has been the focus of countless conspiracy theories, many involving UFOs and extraterrestrials, largely due to this intense secrecy. However, it's important to remember that the reality of Area 51 is likely more mundane than the stuff of science fiction. That's not to say it's not fascinating. The secrecy surrounding the base has led to a wealth of speculation, and the truth is often stranger than fiction. For instance, in the late 1950s the CIA did indeed use Area 51 as a base for the secret A-12 reconnaissance plane, known as Oxcart. And while it wasn't a flying saucer, it certainly would have looked like something out of this world to an unsuspecting observer. So yes, Area 51 is shrouded in secrecy, but it's also a place of incredible innovation and technological advancement. And while we may not have definitive proof of extraterrestrial visitors, Area 51 continues to captivate us with its mystery and intrigue. While the truth about Area 51 might not involve little green men, it's still a fascinating place shrouded in mystery. But here's a question for you. If you could know one secret about Area 51, what would it be? Share your thoughts in the comments below.